Good morning and many thanks for your time on Hits FM. How are you? Um, good morning, Papa Andy, and thanks for putting me on. And by God's grace, I'm good too. Happy New Year. I'm saying to you, Happy New Year. Saying to you. Okay, Abek. So, um, there's an article online. There's a story that you you've confessed that whatever you said about Kewa was false. Is that true? Um, yes, please. Uh, you know, um, I'll first of all greet Ghanaians and everybody listening to me right now. Yeah, it's me. It's the same Yalbeck you used to know, just that right now, a different character, different looks, different mindsets, because we, we are growing. So, um, this issue has been there on my neck since 2018, and I've never been cool with it. And finding ways and means to apologize to my godfather Kewa was being a problem for me but I decided to come harder this 2021 and make the world know that I really really regret and I really want them to support me in apologizing to the man so yes the article says it all I really really take my words back it was just two people one big producer in this industry and one big industry man I masterminded this whole issue of me saying dirty stuff to my godfather and I really really regret and I really want to take my words back and even if he can put me on again I'll be very glad I really really regret and I apologize Papa for sure now yeah back so you said that it were uh, that there were two people who masterminded the, this whole thing yeah. uh, when you said two people who are you talking about um I think their names uh, is not is not going to be necessary for their names to come out because I'm here trying to already solve a problem or trying to beg my godfather to forgive me. As he is going to forgive me or not, I don't even know yet. Not to step on more toes. Uh, I mean, in addition, so I think the name can the names can I mean be hidden for now. I can see you in chambers and, and tell you, Papa Andy. Which means. Whatever you said were concocted, they were not true. Yes, please. They were all false. They were all staged. Okay, so... All because of their interest. Once you are hiding their names, I agree with you, and it's good you don't want to mention their names to breed more trouble. Now, what were what were the things they asked you to say? It was a whole lot. It was a whole like, lot. Like what? Like what? I said a whole lot, which Ghanaians already know about. Uh, it trended and uh, it gave me a bad name. It dented my image and also dented my godfather's image, which I don't want to go back and forth on it. All I want to say is for Ghanaians to help me to apologize to my godfather because I've done him enough harm than good. So this time, I'm not going back to that old ways. I want us to start from the apology, please. Now, have you approached Kewa? Um, it was being difficult from 2019. I regretted from then, but how I was going to get in touch with him was very difficult because the man was really angry with me, so it wasn't easy. But by the help of my uncle that just came down to Ghana, he was like, "No, this thing, let me help you, let me." And then, um, um, Reverend Doctor Abiam, God bless um, the Abiam, for also helping me to 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 start this. And so after we, we, we the same way, um, I mean, I, I, I spoke badly about him. Um, that's the same way I want to use or the same medium I want to use to apologize to him. So I want him to really hear it like in, in air or on air before we even approach him. Yes. So you saying that uh, all the <clears throat> things you said about Kewa were false. Kewa came out to say that when you were there, you were not taking your bath. Uh, you you were unkept. You also came back to say that all those things he said about you were also false. Do you take those words back too? Does the, if yes, does that mean whatever he said about you was true? Yes, please. Yeah, I know. I mean, sometimes when I mean you're you're being coached. 
Uh, I think if you think sometimes you we coming up as young as we were, we thought those people or I thought those people masterminding the whole thing were trying to lead me to a better place, not knowing if it was for their own benefit. You see, so it made me counter everything that my godfather was saying. But honestly, everything my godfather was saying was true because I was so busy with the music that I didn't want to even do something. So whatever Godfather Kiwa said was really true. I really, really, yeah, yeah it's really true. Sure. When I interviewed Kiwa, he made mention that you told him, you said they should watch you and that you can do away, you can, you can do well without him. You, do you remember saying that? And that you are going to make a hit, you you can be you can do well all by yourself. Do you remember mentioning that? Um, Papa Andy, um, please, I will never deny anything I've said in the past. Okay, so I, good. So I am saying, um, the question I'm asking is, if it had gone well for you, would you have come back to apologize to him? Actually, all I would say right now is. Apologies are not coerced. Apologies are not forced. If I wanted to still dwell, if I had not felt remorse, or I don't regret doing that, I don't think I would come back to apologize. It wouldn't be because maybe my, my songs are not going far or however it is, but I felt it within. And I've learned a lot. From that year, um, <clears throat> 2019 or 2018, coming into 2020, I've learned a lot and I've learned my lessons, which even made my mom, me on my, my, my ass to cut off my dreadlocks, which I really did because I, I, I have come to a realization that it's not even about your looks, but how you think and how you receive things and how you accept people and how you live your life. So actually, it can be... Maybe I'm not even going to be an artist for the rest of my life. I might turn into something else, maybe a pastor or something, and see a pastor who's trying to advise somebody uh, with, with such issues, I mean, on my neck. The person will be like, okay, so you trying to advise me, you insulted a godfather who's a man of God in 2018. And I think it's not something that is going to help me as an individual. So it's not even about music, but I know I've caused the man and lots of pain that I need to come back, rectify that mistake, and then life can go on. Yeah. You mentioned that you've learned a lot of lessons. Yes, please. Like what? What have you learned so far? To stay loyal to your godfather. And also... We all should allow ourselves to be used. If we don't allow ourselves to be used, it makes us useless. And if you are being used, you become useful, and by God's grace, you'll be prosperous. Yeah. Now, these people who advised you to take those steps, where are they? Are you still with them? That is the sad part, Papa Andy. That is the saddest part of my story. Ever since the whole issue happened, they turned their back on me like they never did anything. Left me in the dark to move, to do my own thing in crisis, suffering up and down. So it made me realize that, yes, if you are with your godfather or somebody that's trying to put you up, listening to other people, thinking they know the way or they know better, it's not something that's going to help any individual out there. If you're listening to me, please, now let's stay with this let's stay with these two two guys or two people you've um you've hidden their identities um if they had not turned their backs on you would you have gone back to apologize would you have realized there were mistakes like i said before Papa Andy, apologies come from within it's not what we see in the eyes or what is what what we see in the open or in the rear. No. I might have a Range Rover right now. Nobody knows. If I'm driving around and I'm in a tented car, nobody knows. But I felt I need to apologize. I felt it. I felt like I've done something wrong. It's within. So whether they turn their back 
or they maybe they are still around or if they are not or whatever since i felt remorse and i need to apologize i'll go on with it that's what good men do I'm, i want to be a change man so i won't say i'm better but i'm trying to be a better person good so, yes good now uh what did they promise you did they promise you production did they promise you money did they promise you wealth i mean what what, what did they promise you Coming up as a young artist, everybody wants to see his product or he himself as a brand flourish. So obviously, that was, those were the things they promised and trying to make me understand that they can do better. So initially, they were trying to pay off every debt I owe mm. so they can take over, which they didn't even go that way. That was when I that was the first first step they, they, the, the first wrong step they made that made me know that yes they can't even I mean fulfill their promises they can't do anything they made me just lose what I have I mean a whole lot a whole lot <laughs> so your dreadlocks yeah why did you cut them and were you advised by anyone? Um, I would say um, my dreadlocks, um, people, my fans, my fans and some people around me love it. And yeah, because I loved it. I mean, when I saw you at Cousin, I was so disappointed. Like, ah, yeah, I'm back. I'm very sorry, Papa. I'm very sorry, Papa. Handsome looking guy, Charlie. Very, <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I encountered this problem with my godfather, People turning their backs on me, friends turning into enemies and everything. I realized, yeah, 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 you know, because you know, because you dream with you, no man. They're the only person they'll put in the pit. So I turned to listening to my mom and my family a lot. And it has been something that my mom has always wanted me to do. My mom hates dreadlocks. She started saying in 2019. Her friends complain and everything, but I thought, yeah, I'd be artist. Oh, my, let's see. But now I realize, no, obeying your mom or your parents is even part of the commandment, which will even make you grow stronger and even become a better person. And as a matter of fact, being an artist is all about giving, I mean, good music and, I mean, making your fans happy. It doesn't even matter how you look. So I think, I mean, I cut this hair off basically for my mom. She's been complaining a lot, and ever since I did this, from 31st night to this time, she's always been happy, and we are living happily, like, ever after. So, yeah, I'm very proud I did it. Okay. So now, w w what about your other label mates, Creamy, Yao Burke? At a point in time, there was even a video of you throwing shots at them, not knowing how to write songs, uh, I think you were backing Carol songs. You, I mean, a kind of you, you, there were a lot of insinuations. Yeah. So now, uh, what, what about them? Uh, like I said before, sometimes if we are we are young, or if you are young and coming up, um, you handle some things without, I mean, cross checking or knowing, looking at the bigger picture because or in any kind of interview or in any form, but I want to talk about them. I must commend the good work they've done because Highly Spiritual was actually, I mean, starting or it started from me and Carl Songs. And they came on board. We all tried to push the agenda of also creating something, I mean, bigger, even bigger than Mavis. So it was a cause that we all put on our hearts and in our mind to pursue. But due to mistakes and foolishness, we left, and I must commend them, they've done a good work. I mean, to still put the bank out there, and they are doing good. I mean, I'm cool with them, we are artists. They are my colleague artists, so we are cool. I mean, you know, it's my record label boss, Papa Kewa, Mr. David Koduchi, Dr. We, I, I've actually wronged, and I really want you to forgive me. Honestly. I'm giving you the opportunity, or you have the platform, to talk to Kewa. I'm sure by now he's listening. I know Kewa listens to this show every day. <coughs> I hope and pray he's not tuned off just by hearing your voice. Yeah. Uh, I know Kewa is uh, 
a, a God-fearing individual. And, I mean, we, we've spoken on several occasions about you recently. And I want you to use this opportunity to speak to him from your heart. Please go ahead. Okay. So, yeah, um, Papa, we, we, we all call uh, Kiwa Papa. So, Papa, we did, yeah, Papa will be like, back, back. Oh, Papa, we did, Mr. O. So, I mean, I don't know. 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 I let me make key changes in my life. Mr. Papa, I tell me and, and help me to become a better person. I beg you and I apologize, Papa. I'm Thank you. Hmm. Uh, so, now that you've finished, are you apologizing to him to take you back on the label or are you apologizing for him to let go of all the wrongs you've done? Papa Andy, I'm... Um, Growing up, I've come to realize that there's no better place like home. So me, as at right now, I know people will ambass me and say all, of, all sorts of stuff. Eh, because it's not going well, that's why you are here. And then, yeah, I take it all. I deserve it. I brought it all upon myself. If I had not paid attention to these persuasions, I wouldn't have got to this point of going back and forth with my music career. So me, honestly, Papa Andy, if my godfather Kiwa will willingly accept me back on his label, I said, now I'm not on any paper thing with anybody. If you accept me back, if it's possible, may I do do, Papa Andy, it's all to put music out and lift the name of highly spiritual music up there as we started it. I'll be very 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 open and very willing to work with him because from SHS when I started telling my dad that oh Kiwa I want to work with Kiwa I want to work with Kiwa I don't even know I don't know if it was a dream I just realized nah, nah, nah something you really really wanted way back ah, unfortunately I've lost him highly 